Hello, and this is our visual thinking project. My name is Sydney. My name is Bella, and we will be presenting two of our specimens. So for an introduction, around the time of World War II and the Great Depression, many designs emerged, such as the skeleton dress and skeleton dance. At the time, these works of art received mixed opinions, but have influenced art today by breaking old traditions. The skeleton dress influenced today's society by breaking ideal beauty standards and allowing people to express themselves. The skeleton dance influenced animation today by combining sound with visuals and breaking out of the silent films era. They both feature skeletons that were seen as morbid or sorrowful and disliked by the public. Skeleton dress and skeleton dance are different art forms, but they have a lot of similarities and differences. So, I'll be talking about the skeleton dress for a little bit. The dress was created in 1938 by Elsa Schiaparelli in collaboration with surrealist artist Salvador Deli, the pinnacle of hot contour, which is like high-end fashion. This year was made very important. In 1938, the U.S. was still suffering from the Great Depression and was about to enter World War II. There was a need for escapism, and many found that in Hollywood films, actors, studios, fashion, etc. The dress had a sophisticated silhouette that was popular in the 1930s, so the designer emphasized this in the dress, which allowed it to garner a lot of attention from the public. Exaggerated rib cages, spine, and leg bones to predominantly showcase the human anatomy. People at the time favored the ideal body that was less boyish, youthful, favoring subtle curves, high waist lines, long and elegant posture. The corset references Miyamoto Mori, objects and symbols referencing the dead. From a pile of things, her elaborate techniques and playful themes contribute to the overall impact that she had on the evolving fashion industry of the 1930s, introducing ideas that can still be considered relevant to this day. Elsa said, I believe in strict neatness about both day and evening clothes. They're simple lines accentuated by an original touch. The designer's goal for the skeleton dress is to showcase the human anatomy and the designer's bare bones. The concept is to create a dress with a constricting nature or second skin to showcase the surrealism of the dress on the wearer, uh, basically showing personality and who you are. The image presents a black dress with sections of cloth imitating a human rib cage, spine, and some leg bones. The message behind this dress is that is it showcases the bone of Scaparelli as a designer. She designed a lot of garments for women, but had her own special style to them. The skeleton dress breaks this ideal beauty standard. The style due to the type of fabric was very mobile and surprisingly comfortable. It is avant-garde, but yet classic in simple terms of construction and silhouette. It is important to study this specimen to understand how fashion has evolved over the decades and how designers are able to break out of ideal beauty standards that inspired today's fashion and clothes that can be worn by anyone and allow people to express themselves. I think the dress is pretty fascinating to me. Learning about the history and people at the time, it makes me understand this type of dress wouldn't be worn in the past and how it influences now that it's not the, the typical hourglass shape or it's more revealing to how true body is like. I definitely agree. When I first saw this, I was very surprised. My immediate reaction was like, this is something you would find in a Halloween store looking for costumes, you know? Oh, that's true. I was like, oh, that's that's super cool, you know? I, I definitely get like spooky vibes and it kind of feels like, a, like something I would find even today, even if, you know, like, it was made way back then. What were your initial like emotions to it? How did it make you feel? Confused because it seems like a normal dress until you look at the details of it. There's emphasis on the rib cage and the skeleton features. When I first saw it, I didn't really see it as like, why is this dress very influential to us today? Yeah, it was it was very nice to learn about how it was so influential for like 
thinking as like a designer standpoint, just learning about how the, the fashion designer was able to work with like a surrealist artist and implement those ideas into fashion design. Yeah, I agree. Also, when I heard about Salvador Dali, I only heard of him as an artist. I didn't know he helped Elisa to design a dress. So that's pretty cool of the collaboration between a designer and a surrealist artist. I'll be introducing a skeleton dance. In 1929, produced and directed by Walt Disney, composer Paul Stalling, and animated by UBA Works, Skeleton Dance is the very first film in the Silly Symphony series. Started out as a short film idea, trial run to see how it would do in theaters, Skeleton Dance was a major hit, despite the odd reactions to the idea at first. The film presents events leading to the four skeletons dancing and making music around a spooky graveyard. Skeletons rising from the dead and and dancing is medieval imagery, Dance of the Dead. People at the time disliked the idea of depicting symbols or scenes related to dead. It was the first animation to fully take advantage of the recent technological breakthroughs. Film brought out animation out of the silent films era. The famous skeleton dance has been referenced a lot in shows and was a major Halloween hit. Skeleton dance is credited for being the first non-post-sync sound cartoon ever instead of the cartoon being made and then the sound added later. The sound and animation were being made at the same time. Sounds are perfectly synced to the visuals or actions, which are unrealistic but fits the style of the cartoon characters. The goal behind the skeleton dance is to entertain an audience with a short film premiere in theaters. The concept is to create a series of whimsical shorts, silly symphony, and cartoons combining music and animation. The image is animated dancing skeletons. The message is a horror-themed content harmless and comedic that excites people for the spooky season. The style of the skeleton is a short film with unique sounds that perfectly sync with visuals. It's important to study this specimen to understand the origins of animation today and how early films were able to transition out of the silent film and inspire later shows such as Mickey Mouse, Tom and Jerry, and Scooby-Doo. Allow horror-themed cartoons for kids also is a timeless classic without speaking or singing, but perfectly sync sounds to narrate a story that are used today. So what is your first thoughts about the animation? When I first saw the animation, I was very surprised because they were so so animated like they were moving around everywhere and using their bones to like create music and that was very very unique and I, when i learned it was disney who had made this i was very surprised because you know they have a lot of kid-friendly stuff these days in present day and back then they certainly did not have that sort of level of un uneasiness in their animations so it was very 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 nice to see that i agree i like how the animation uses only sounds because usually you have speaking or singing to be able to narrate a story but it's just only sound and i was very fascinated my first reaction to watching the skeleton dance is how it really reminds me of tom and jerry the type of no audio just noise to illustrate a story which i do see being used today yeah I, I definitely agree i did get a lot of tom and jerry vibes from it it had that playfulness just really showed there was this one part where like they were using the rib cage as like a xylophone and i was like oh that's that's really clever <laughs> I do see it from different shows, which is pretty cool, like a little snippet of the iconic skeleton dance. Yeah, I also, when I first like saw it, I was like, it reminded me a lot of Spooky Scary Skeletons, that, that song and that animation. I was like, oh, I was just totally like inspired by that. Oh, that's true. Good point. For similarities of the two, they both feature skeletons, are symbols of death, and a sense of art and design. They both strongly influence art today. Skeleton dance influence animation today, combining sound and animation, while skeleton dress allowed designers to defy conventional standards of beauty and keep a theme of showing who you are on the inside. They were both around the time of World War II and the Great Depression, 1938 for the dress and 1929 for the dance. They are both controversial with mixed audience opinions. Skeleton dance banned in Denmark because it was too graphic and critics warned parents to not let 
let their children watch as the content was deemed so morbid, featuring skeletons. The skeleton dress was a form of surrealist fashion that was created to defy conventional standards of beauty to shock the audience into a new reality. Many people did not like the shift from standard beauty and were opposed to this new surrealist movement, whereas today, fashion and clothes can be worn by anyone and allow individuals to express themselves. Differences. Skeleton dance was presented in a playful and very alive way, wanting to dance along with the music and the skeletons, compared to the skeleton dress, which was meant to show the personality of the wearer, which could be sorrowful. The skeletons in both the dance and the dress are featured in different art forms, 3D and 4D. Thanks for listening. Thank you.